What's up guys, uh, this is Will You League and Will You League's uh, channel. Welcome to my newest video. Uh, and so today we will be doing uh, Wicked Lulu support live commentary. And before I begin, uh, let me think. Yes, uh, so for those of you who don't know, I use Fraps as my recorder. And basically with Fraps, the thing is, uh, it's been crashing a lot. This is a legit version, not like a cracked version. I actually bought this. And uh, here's the thing. The cracked version actually worked better. The legit version, it keeps crashing. So I don't know what's up with that. But um, it seems I've kind of fixed it. So if you guys are having this problem, here's the temporary fix as of now. Basically, you don't want to start fraps until you actually get into the game like you act like after the loading screen has finished like with the where it's loading until you've actually gotten into the game like right now then you alt tab out open up fraps and then you press the hotkey whatever it is f9 to start uh, your game so yeah that's about that that's about it and if you do it any other way it crashes the league and then you get a bug splat and then it takes like three minutes to get back in the game and then you're under leveled so let me just check real quick the pings kind of sporadic but it should be good to go and okay so for lulu especially this wicked lulu notice the skin uh... what you want to do is max q first almost always it's the best form of poke and uh... on top of that uh... the reason why i chose lulu um, especially versa leona it's just very good she's she's the best poke in the game next to probably only Sona and she's she's a very safe poke her poke extends for quite a long time so she's able to poke without having to uh, get in real close like zillion that's that's the main fallacy with zillion uh, it's it's too risky getting in with like zillion to poke with Leona however I mean not Leona with uh, Lulu it's, it's perfect on top of that, you want to focus the uh, sieve. Like right now, you want to go for a sieve, and then you just want to pop that spell shield. Ideally, you don't. You actually don't want to use your spells when she has her shield up. Also, one thing a lot of people forget to do is hold on. I'm a little busy. Oh, there's no way. Are you actually here? What the heck? Watch this. Watch this. Shoot! I didn't think his her ward was that freaking low. It's okay. Oh, that was not good. She got us both. I was about to unpink her pink. It didn't work out. Oh, that was horrid. Very, very good control by Leona. It's okay. We can come back. We can definitely come back from this. Don't you worry. It's because I've become too overconfident with Le um, Lulu. So that was my fault. I was just too cocky there. I wanted to, like basically as Leona, you can just zone them by by abusing your poke. And they're, they're, they're scared to come in for a uh, minion because you have them zoned out. So this is not good. Ezreal should be gone. Sh he should have backed. He should have recalled. For him to stay at like one auto attack, one auto attack's worth of HP, uh, like right there, he could have died. Had that Q landed, he would have died for sure. So, as they're focused on Ezreal, I want to poke them down. And as for Whimsy, uh, that's, that was also very bad. You, use, you don't want to use Whimsy 
unless it's like a very dire situation. Why? Because it's a huge mana drain and it's a sl it's a very long cooldown. Let me think here. Think. As for runes, I am running hybrid uh, marks, which means half they give half magic pen, half armor pen, which is very good because uh, a lot of people forget to do this when you are poking as Lulu. You want to what's the word? Oh my gosh! You want to auto attack as well. So if you auto attack as well, it allows for, are you stupid? He obviously saw you. It allows for more damage and people underestimate just the auto attack damage of Lulu. Um, it goes along with the, uh, the passive Pix Fairy Companion. So basically, his passive is Pix fires a barrage of three bolts, dealing 21 magic damage total. And uh, that really adds up, especially uh, high elo when uh, the exchanges get very close. And it's a matter of a, a couple My HP uh, on who lives or dies. So every little bit of extra uh, damage counts. As of now, what I want to do is push up this lane so that they have to, uh, they have to tank it. Okay, so I uh, I don't know about this Ezreal. He's not that good, but I haven't been playing well either. The thing is, I was I wasn't expecting this Leona to be so good, so I've been I've been too cocky lately. I don't know what rune she's running, but she's so tanky. My poke's not doing enough damage. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, so this is a point in the game where people usually tend to give up. It looks like we're losing horribly 1-7 to seven in kills. But you just have to be smart and wait for the comeback. See, uh, Trundle killed earlier. And uh, it looks like they might die here. But it's gonna be fine. What are you doing? Get out of there. But yeah, um, yeah, don't don't worry about it because you gotta keep a optimistic view. Why? Because I have seen comebacks and you have to be very optimistic. Otherwise those comebacks won't happen. I don't know if I can catch up in time. She flashed over. Should I flash after? Fuck it. Bay life. Nope. Couldn't get her. Wasting my flash there. Well, I wanted to make some big play. Ended up just uh, dying. So it was very, very bad on my part. I want to see if I can kill him. I don't think I can. Ah. Oh well. I'm worth no gold anymore anyways. So yeah, uh, to be honest, I think we've lost the game here. I mean, you can be very optimistic, but it looks very, very bad as of now. Ezreal is very, very behind, and his build is just scaring me. You don't want to rush tier if you're so far behind. Why? Because it's a huge, huge uh, gold kill. What's the word? Um, it's a huge gold sink. It's, I believe it's 800, it's 520 gold, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is, especially early, early game. And because of that, it's a huge, huge sink in gold. And you can quite literally, like fall behind tremendously because of this oh, he died I'm dead too pretty much I'm dead too 
Okay, so I have all now. I just turned six. Um, she's still alive. I, I don't know. I think she's smart. She knows I have all. Let's go. Let's go. Oh fuck, Telly. I would have died anyways. I would have lost her anyways. Uh, oh well. That's kind of the mentality you have to have. You have to, like, uh, I mean, this this is kind of bad. But usually, if there's still still usually a chance to win, um, and I mean, if, if if there's a comeback from this, I mean, it's going on YouTube just to prove a point, just to prove a point that you can still win when you're like three four. Well, now we're four fourteen, but. You can still make a comeback. See, as long as our team is trying, as long as we are trying, we can make a comeback. Why? Because I've seen huge comebacks recently. Huge. Like literally, there were, there were games where the top lane fed like 14 kills. And they made a huge comeback and they won. They were down in kills by like 20. And they managed to somehow make it through. So you just have to uh, live life, breathe there, and somehow you're going to get there. Oh, goodness. This Leona is just too good. She, okay, did you see that? She camped here. And waited for us to come down, uh, knowing the turret would drop. So while the turret was still up with like 10 HP, she walked Enemy around here, came seen. around, sat here in this bush, and waited. The turret dropped. We pushed up versus Sivir. She baited us. Uh, she baited us, uh, us out, and uh, we died when Leona came in. However, uh, Diana came in and uh, avenged us. And then she flashes over. So yeah, I'm, I'm playing worse because I have to commentate this. Uh, as you can see, I've still managed to give you some valuable information, even though I've pretty much lost the game. However, uh, you gotta keep uh, you you gotta still keep it uh, entertaining for the viewers. So um, there's there's still a lot of vital information. Despite losing, it doesn't mean uh, you you're gonna lose every single game after that. There's still a lot of vital information you can learn from your match. So Trundle, who pinged me back? Ezreal. Okay, we're good. If it was someone else, then we could have been in trouble. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and well, first check if Dragon's still here. It is. Put a green sight ward. Why not a blue one? Because this one ends up disappearing if you accidentally forget and place a ward when you already have two up and sometimes it, it's just like a vital situation where you need that sort of ward coverage don't turn don't turn go back and basically yeah you need that sort of ward coverage and sometimes you you're forced to use a third ward, and that would in effect. Oh my gosh, this noob! Don't go in! Don't go in! Please, no. Okay, we're good. yeah so if that was like a big fight here then like right here then I might have had to use a sight ward and by doing so I would have killed the ward and dragon in fact it looks like I did just kill the ward and dragon or someone killed it for me so that's why a sight ward is better sometimes you can't just ward everything As of now, I don't think a comeback is possible. Like, they're too fed. Look at this Sivir. Look at this Ziggs. So, 
so I should be looking to rush Aegis immediately. The problem is that I have chosen to build Philosopher's Stone. If I don't build Shirelia's, it will be a complete waste of the, the Philosopher's Stone. Except for the GP10 and the regen. So, in this situation, I think it would be better to go Aegis regardless because... Hold on. It's hers, it's hers. Regardless, because, uh, yeah, Chirelios isn't going to do much. Yeah, that, was, that was just bad. Oh, the turning. Oh, you're going too deep, you're going too deep. Wow, you got killed. Oh. Crazy. Dang, Zig's flash for that. He's greedy for a kill. Very nice play by me and the rest of our team. Uh, Ruby Crystal for sure. We need more wards. Three by three from this is not enough. Uh, we've lost too many turrets. There's too much fog. So we've kind of caught up. Not really. We're down. Three turrets. We're down. Thirteen kills. We've lost dragon for sure. It's pretty grim. I picked this because they always wore this. This is like the, a hot spot. Now it's it's kind of early. We're all level eight, so there's no need to word baron there's no way like i know the limits of baron because i've tested it out at each level and they can't do baron well if they five man it potentially so potentially the point is they whoa they are just going crazy here There go the blobs. You have slain an enemy. I'm gonna flash that. I have to flash that. Will the turret finish off Zach? Nope. It's fine though. See Ziggs, the problem here is he's getting cocky. And if he's cocky, uh, just like uh, Zebra from Toriko. If you get cocky, you end up doing bad stuff. You know what? I'm just gonna rush this. We need a quick item. So yeah, Ez is a pretty decent split pusher, and he has the three boxes. So I'm assuming he's Korean, which means he's he's decent, even though he's one five. What? You're just gonna leave? You still have time? Yes, not. He knows better than me. There's no way we can kill him. Huh, is he is he gonna split push top? Whatever. We don't have a pink. So if we secure this dragon, which we will, we will be up tremendously. Not 
good. They were caught out, GG. Let's hope this isn't warded. If it is, I'm screwed as well. Oh, they chose to surrender. So that's it for this horrible uh, live commentary. Uh, I'm sorry I had to end that way, but I was the only one who voted no in the surrender vote. I, I believe we could have came back, but our team did not uh, try. So that's what happens in a game of solo queue. See you guys later. Peace out. Like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.